tell us your viewpoint of the marijuana laws and how there's a big conflict between state and federal government. What's your viewpoint of this whole thing? Well, my, my viewpoint is that we are going to be one of the dumbest nations on the face of the earth uh, to waste the amount of resources, police time, probation time, court time, federal prosecution time, yes. all of the money that we're putting into the, this, this prosecutorial activity, yes. dropping guys out of airplanes with masks on and helmets and automatic weapons could all be saved we can always spend this money in some other beneficial area. A lot of people think that if you legalize marijuana, you know, yeah. and you think it should be legal. Uh, I, yes, I do. Okay. But a lot of people think if you legalize, it leads to the use of other drugs. Is yeah. that true? It's actually been, that, that theory has been discounted for years. Okay. Actually, if you talk about things leading to drugs, you could talk about mother's milk, you could talk about... Uh, alcohol, you can talk about any other drug in the whole system. Mm -hmm. But this is an argument made by desperate people to keep what I call the big lie flowing. What is and that the big lie? lie about marijuana is that there are some really negative impacts from this particular drug on society over and above that you have with alcohol, cigarettes, or any other legal drug. Mm -hmm. That's the big lie. The reason why the lie exists is because there is a certain portion of the United States that make their money off of enforcing that law. DEA, FBI, customs, probation officers, police officers on the street, right. judges, all these people are in this system that makes money off of criminal law. And more specifically, and more recently, gobs of money off of marijuana. Mm -hmm. The reason they make it more money off marijuana right now is because they're busting, the feds are busting state medical marijuana dispensaries that are legally selling the drug and confiscating all the assets, confiscating the bank accounts, confiscating the chairs, the plasma TVs if they're in the, if they're in the waiting room, everything they're cleaning out and all the money and taking and wiping people out completely. So they're, not only are they making money salary-wise, they're making money asset-wise. Why is the federal government, not the state, but why is the federal government busting some of these marijuana distributors Good question. to qualified people under doctor prescription? Why are they doing it? They're doing it because the federal law is not affected by the state law on medicinal marijuana. Supersedes it. There is a classification of drugs in the federal government called Schedule One and Schedule Two and Schedule Three drugs. Mm -hmm. Marijuana has been classified along with heroin and other major drugs in the, in the classification of one. We could change this whole process mm -hmm. by merely changing the classification of the drug to a class two drug, which means the drug can be prescribed by a doctor. It's still controlled. It still could be considered dangerous, but it allows a certain bit of latitude on the part of the states. Yes. So what's going on now in the federal government is there is a federal bureaucracy called the FBI and the DEA and other law enforcement organizations that are wedded to an idea. They're Which wedded is? to the idea that marijuana is, leads to other drugs, that marijuana is antisocial, that marijuana is like reefer madness. They are wedded to this. They can't get off the train, even though the train's heading for a, a, a huge crash. They're not getting off, and they're, they're going down the same road they've always gone down. Mm -hmm. And they're making money going down this road and expanding the, the, the bureaucracy. So they have no reason to stop enforcing the law. But what's happened is the federal government under Bush and the Bush administration, the DOJ with, with Gonzalez, has decided that they're now going to bust not only people growing marijuana so-called illegally, but they're now they're going to actually raid the dispensaries. What I'm saying is this is the big lie. This statute should have been overturned years ago. At least it should have been reclassified years ago. And at least we could save some of this incredible amount of money we're spending to control or to prosecute people that possess a, something that grows from the ground naturally and that doesn't have any known side effects, negative side effects as yet.